All right. Hi, everyone. I thought I'd take a little bit of time out today just to break up the monotony a bit by taking you on something of a tour of um, my equipment in a series of clips. Um, this clip today will be about my Fender Stratocaster. It's a 1976 Fender Stratocaster in Sunburst with a white scratch plate and a rosewood fretboard. And I've owned it since 1983. I bought it from a mate of mine. Um, I didn't own a guitar at the time, so, you know, getting a hold of a Fender Stratocaster was just fantastic. Um, what you'll probably notice is that there are a few, uh, a few differences about this 1976 Fender Stratocaster. I'll give you a little bit of a hist the history of it. When my mate got hold of it, it was in 1981. The guitar was only five years old, but it suffered uh, quite a bit, probably from indelicate handling, storage, um, been banged around a little bit. He had to get quite a, quite a bit of work done on it. Now, um, you can have a bow in the neck where the neck bows out in, in that direction, so towards the camera, or if it's overcorrected, um, it goes back in the other direction, away from the camera, away from your point of view. Um, this one, the way he explained it to me, it had like an S-shaped lateral kind of curve uh, going along the neck. So the fellow he took it to said that if he uh, if he shaved the neck uh, top and bottom, that uh, that would correct that and um, and fix fix the problems with the neck rather than replacing the neck. Um, so what what happened with that is that the um, you know, it's a very narrow neck, which you probably noticed already, uh, especially up at the top end. You know, your fingers can really bump into each other. And I think it's a bit disconcerting for people playing it uh, for the first time. And certainly if I play other guitars and then come back onto this, I, I really notice the small difference between the strings. And the, the bottom string is a little bit iffy on the bends too. You could... Um, quite conceivably um, slip off down the bottom. It's very close to the bottom of the neck, you know, but those little kinks aside, it's, um, it's a really nice guitar to play. Um, and when you get used to it, um, you know, you, you, you'd probably think it was a terrific guitar, as I do. Um, okay, so that's, um, that's the neck. Now the, the white scratch plate, this guitar originally had a, a black scratch plate, but around about 1992, um, I just thought it'd look better with a, a white scratch plate, so I, I changed it over. Um, it was a funny thing, because I thought I'd just be unscrewing a few bits and pieces and changing over the scratch plate, but it turns out on Fender Stratocasters that all the you know, hardware is actually attached to the scratch plate itself rather than the body of the guitar. So it's, um, it's not the sort of thing I'd do again. I'd, I'd get somebody uh, professional, somebody good at it to do it for me if I was gonna do something like that again, but I'm pretty happy with the white scratch plate, so. That's going to stay pretty much where it is. You've got uh, the input jack is um, it misbehaves occasionally, so um, I uh, usually anchor it into place with a clothes peg and a specify white clothes peg so it matches up with all the you know furniture on the guitar. Um, now I think around about the same time I changed over the um, the scratch plate, I changed over the knob on the pickup selector switch. I can't remember whether the uh, volume and tone controls were changed to white, whether they were black, and I can't remember whether the pickup covers here were originally in black or um, white. Um, pictures I've seen of 1976 Stratocasters indicate both. Um, I think it looks okay as it is. Um, the other thing you'll probably notice is that I've got a humbucker on the, uh, on the back. Now, my mate who had uh, the work done on the neck of the guitar, he wanted a little bit more grunt on the back pickup, so he, he had put in this here, Damasio Super Distortion um, pickup. Uh, so that that's a big difference from um, what you're accustomed to. You're accustomed to the single pole treble pickup here, uh, set on an angle. Um, uh, I can't really compare uh, the two because this, this is all I've known, the, the guitar came uh, like this, and I haven't really played a whole lot of other strats to to be able to compare uh, the two. But the 
But this back pickup here, it does give a bit more warmth and a little bit of extra grunt. And look, I, I would maintain that it, um, it still sounds like a Strat. It doesn't take the Strat sound away from the guitar at all. Um, Okay, well, let's have a listen to those pickups. We've got a five position pickup selector switch here. Okay, and I, because I've been doing um, a lot of Rolling Stones songs, Keith Richards' guitar parts played in open G, I've got the, the top string off as, uh, as Keith recommends. Uh, so it's only got the five strings on it and it is currently tuned to open G. So the back pickup. to the next position and that gives you the back pickup and the middle pickup in concert. This one here is the middle pickup on its own. You hear the difference there, can't you? All right, so we bring in the front pickup and the middle pickup together here. pick up the difference now. Still sounds warm, still sounds good. And that was the front pickup all by itself. So, you know, five positions, there's quite a lot of versatility with, um, uh, with this guitar and I guess Stratocasters in general. Now, um, look, like I said, I, I, um, I really like this guitar. I've owned it for you know 35, coming up to 35 years. It, it like people just fall in love with Stratocasters. I think uh, they mould into your body. Um, all the tuning heads are um, uh, down the one line. You know, um, it's got a, a great feel to it. Um, and it, it. Its versatility is one of the things. That it, it, it's mystified me a little bit as to why more people don't. Um, play Strat. You usually only see um, Fender Stratocasters hanging off, um, you know, really hot guitar players who are, are quite tearing it up. You don't have your your regular sort of um, guitar players like, you know, Keith Richard. Um, they're more likely, or Bruce Springsteen, they're more likely to be uh, strapping on a tally than a Strat. And um, look, I, I just think that uh, while one of those guys using a Strat might be underutilising it a little bit, um, uh, it's still a really good guitar for pretty much anything you want to do. Um, look, that's about it. Um, don't be bashful about um, asking questions or uh, making comments, offering helpful advice, sharing your experiences. Um, I hope you found that uh, interesting and illuminating. Thanks.